Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss that a given geometric figure and its image formed after transformation is a reflection or a translation or a rotation using angles, line segments, perpendicular lines, parallel lines and circles. Now we already know definitions of angles, circles, line segments and perpendicular lines. Let us define the transformations using these geometrical terms. First of all, let us see reflection. Now we know that reflection of an object is obtained by flipping the object over the line of reflection. Now see the following figure. Here we can say that quadrilateral A dash B dash C dash D dash is image of quadrilateral A B C D formed after reflection. And here line L is the line of reflection. Now here we have two quadrilaterals. Now to see if A dash B dash C dash D dash is reflected image of the quadrilateral ABCD. We draw a line segment joining the two corresponding points. Now here let us draw in B and B dash. Now here we have joined the points B and B dash. Similarly we can join the other points also as here we have joined A and A dash, C and C dash and we can also join D and D dash. Now here we see that line segment B, B dash intersects the vertical line L drawn between the two figures at 90 degrees Thus, line segment BB dash is perpendicular to the line L. Similarly, if we join any other corresponding points, then also that line segment will be perpendicular to the line L. Also we see that the distance of point B from line L is equal to distance of point B dash from line L. Thus midpoint of line segment BB dash will lie on line L. So, point of intersection of line segment BB dash and line L is the midpoint of line segment BB dash. Thus, the vertical line L is the line of reflection and coordinator A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash is the reflected image of the given quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now, we can draw reflection of given figure in the line L by drawing perpendiculars from the given vertices to the line L and locating their image points such that the distance between the pre-image point and image point from line L is equal. Now suppose we have to draw a reflection of this triangle ABC and L is the line of reflection. So here in the first step we will draw perpendiculars from the given vertices to the line L and then we have located their image points such that the distance between the pre-image point and image point from line L is equal. And then 
joining these image points we get the reflected image a dash b dash c dash and if any given point that is pre image lies on the line of reflection then its image point is the point itself and now let us discuss translation now we know that translation slides an object a fixed distance in a specified direction and here the original figure and translated figure will have same shape and size and they face in the same direction now suppose a polygon is slided 3 units right and 1 unit down of given image now we will see whether it is a translation or not now we see the following figure and we can say that polygon a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash is a translated image of polygon a b c d e also we see that the given polygon is sliding downwards the shape and size of the two figures is same first we draw a line of direction in which given polygon is slided now here this sign tells us the direction of the slide we initially had this polygon that is the polygon a b c d e and when we slide it to 3 units right and 1 unit down in this direction here line m shows the direction of slide and we get this figure that is the polygon a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash now an image is a translation of a given figure if the corresponding sides of given object and its image are parallel now here we have joined the points d d dash and the points a a dash now here we can see that a a dash and d d dash are parallel to each other and a a dash and d d dash are parallel to the line m also since all the lines are parallel thus it is a translation of given figure and now let us discuss rotation now we know that rotation turns an object around a point in clockwise direction that is to the right and in anti clockwise direction that is to the left here positive angle shows clockwise direction and negative angle shows anti clockwise direction and rotations move the object to a circular arc with a specified center through a specified angle and a rotation does not change the size of the figure now an image is a rotation if the given object and its image are equidistant from the center of rotation now suppose a is the given point and a dash is image point and p is center of rotation then distance ap 
is equal to distance a dash p and an image is a rotation if the points are rotated in a circle it means the peak image point and the corresponding image point lie on the same circle with center as fixed point given by center of rotation now see this figure here we have rotated a polygon by 90 degrees angle in anti clockwise direction now when we draw a circle with center o and radius oc we see that the image point c dash also lies on the same circle now suppose we are given a triangle abc and we have to draw its rotation of 100 degrees anti clockwise about any point now in the first step we will draw the point r about which triangle will be rotated and then we will draw line segment rc now to draw image point c dash of c place the center of protector on the point r and 0 degrees line on rc and then here mark 100 degrees angle and then in the next step mark c dash on 100 degrees line such that distance rc dash is equal to distance rc now to draw image point a dash of point a join ra and repeat the previous steps similarly we can draw the image point c dash and then we will join these image points and join a dash b dash c dash we get a triangle and this triangle is the rotated image now see that the points are rotated in a circle with center r now to verify the rotation with center r and radius rc we will draw a circle and we see that point c dash also lies on the same circle so distance rc is equal to distance rc dash so we can say the point c and its image point c dash lie on the same circle c similarly we know that the point a and its image point a dash lie on the same circle c dash so distance r a is equal to distance r a dash and the point b and its image b dash lie on the same circle c double dash so distance r b is equal to distance r b dash therefore the two figures that is triangle abc and triangle a dash b dash c dash are congruent here the corresponding sides and angles of these two triangles are equal also we must note that if we rotate an object 
by an angle of 140 degrees anti clockwise it is equivalent to rotate 360 degrees minus 140 degrees is equal to 220 degrees in clockwise direction so in this session we have discussed definitions of rotations reflections and translations in terms of angles circles perpendicular lines parallel lines and line segments and this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session